Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm six years old and I love playing games on my YouTube. Is ten. In this video, I'm going to show you a few games you can practice number bonds and help to partition numbers. When we make number bonds, we are thinking of the different parts that make up a target number. These are a few of the games you can play to learn the many ways to compose and decompose numbers. So let's start playing! To play these games, you'll need only the number cards from a deck of playing cards or Uno cards. If you have it, an abacus like this or a rack like this. <laughs> if you have it, an abacus like this one or a reckon wreck like this one will be very helpful too. I like to use my abacus because it is easy to see the groups of fives and tens. If you want to learn how we visualize quantities, make sure to check out the link below or click or tap the card up here. The first game is called 9 to 10, which we learned from Dennis Gaskin's book, Math You Can Play. The aim of this game is to pair cards together. We will focus on number bonds that make 10 in this example game. But any target number will also work. The goal is to collect the most pair of cards that make up the target number. We lay out nine cards in a three by three array. The first player finds all the pairs that make 10 within the nine cards during her turn. Kennedy has found three pairs. I have something that you can use it and I found it. Yeah. The nine and one as well as two pairs of six and fours. The second player then fills in the empty spots with fresh cards from the draw pile. Then she begins to find her pairs that make ten. Eight times two. Eight and two, thank you. And this is nine and one is mine. Then she fills up the empty spots again. Play goes back to Kennedy or the next player. The game ends when the draw pod is exhausted and all the cards in the array are paired. The player with the most pairs wins the game. Yay! Make sure to check out the book Math You Can Play in the show notes below. My mummy says the next game is an oldie but a goodie. What other games do you play as a kid? My favourite board games are Catan and King Domino right now. I hope you are finding this world through YouTube. If you did, please like this video. If you subscribe to the channel, you can follow us on our learning journey too. Sharing is caring. So make sure to let someone else know about these fun games that are doing boring worksheets. The second game is a variation of a game mummy used to play called Go Fish. The objective of this game is to find pairs that go together. Like the previous game, this one focuses on number bonds to 10. The player that collects the most cards will win the game. Give five cards to each player and set aside the rest at the draw pile. At the start, check your hand for any pairs that make 10, like five and five. Say the equation and set them aside next to each other like this. The first player may ask for a number that she needs to complete, a pair that equals 10. For example, I have a 7, so I will ask mommy for a 3. And um, yeah, a 3. If she has that card, she must hand it over. Since she does not have that card, she calls Goldfish. No, Goldfish. Then, I draw the top card from the draw pile. If it is a pair, I put it aside and play passes to the next player. you have a 9? I do. Nine one is ten. If I finish my cards, I get to draw another five to continue. The game card includes when the draw pile is empty and we have matched all our cards. The winner is the one with the most pairs. Yes. Okay, you won. Uh, who has more? You have. If you play lots of these games, you can get good at breaking apart and putting numbers together. Then you can learn more mental math tricks to add larger numbers without having to count or use a calculator. Isn't that mental? We also did another video on games that you can practice composing 
and decomposing numbers. Make sure to check out how to play I See 10 and the Sleeping Queens walkthrough in this video. If you found this video useful, like it, don't forget to subscribe and share it with someone else. Thanks for watching. Now let's play a game.